Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make my all time favourite Christmas dessert. It's a trifle. So the first step to making this trifle is the jelly layer. So basically what you want to do is you want to take a tin of fruit, now you can use absolutely any fruit that you want. I've gone for cherries today. And we're just going to strain out the juice through a sieve. Then you want to top up that juice with enough water that it says on your packet of jelly. So my packet of jelly says add half a pint of hot water and a half a pint of cold water. Well we're going to cheat that slightly. I'm going to take just a little bit of that water and add that into my jelly cubes, into my bowl. And I'm going to microwave that for about a minute. Uh, and a good way to test it is to hold it up to the light and if you can see any jelly pieces you need to put it back into the microwave. If it's completely clear you're good to go. So then I'm just going to add the rest of that cold water and what this is going to mean is it's just going to cool down so much faster. So next we're going to take our trifle sponges and I'm just going to break them up into little pieces and just scatter them into my dish. Now as you can see I've got a cut glass dish so it's going to give me that really like fancy style. I'm going to add a tiny bit of sherry onto these sponges and it's going to soak up that wonderful flavour and it's going to pair really well with that sherry and give me a really nice Christmassy vibe. Then you're going to chuck over that jelly mixture and then add on those strained fruit. If you're using cherries like me, make sure there's no pits in them. Then you're going to chuck that into the fridge for a good few hours. I left mine overnight. You can also do these like individual servings. They look so cute. So I've just got these little glasses and I'm just going to do exactly the same thing. So trifle sponges, bit of sherry, add on the jelly and add in the fruit. Now as I said, you can do these any fruit you want. Now the next step to this is the custard. Now I'm going to make a homemade custard because I feel it gives it such a nicer flavour. And if you use a custard out of a tin, when you take a spoonful of it, all the custard just runs out into the bowl and it just makes a mess because you've got your nice firm homemade custard that's going to be much nicer and easier to eat. So what we're going to do to make this custard is we're going to place about three quarters of the milk into a saucepan. And you're going to heat that over quite a low heat and you just want to bring it up to just about simmering. You don't want to boil it, you want it to just before boiling. Then we're going to place our two eggs and our egg yolk into our bowl along with the sugar. And then you're just going to take a whisk and you're just going to whisk those up. You want to really get some nice lots of air into this. They should be pale in colour. To this we're going to go in with our corn flour along with our flour and also the rest of that milk which we saved and you're just going to whisk those up until they form a nice paste. Then we're going to add in a splash of vanilla and it's going to give it a really nice deep flavour. So once your milk's just before boiling, you should be able to see that by some little bubbles appearing at the sides of the pan. And we're going to add about a ladle of that into our eggs and whisk it through and add it in slowly, otherwise you're going to scramble the eggs. You want to do about two ladles all together. This is called introducing or tempering and it's going to bring those egg yolks slowly up to temperature rather than scrambling them. Then you're going to chuck all of that into the saucepan and over a low heat you're going to keep whisking that until it thickens. So I actually choose to swap to a spatula because I feel you can get right to the bottom of the pan. Now you'll get a few little bits that are sort of going to clump together. You want to really stir those all through and press them all together and you'll get a nice thick crust. And it will thicken up quite quickly, so you just want to make sure you keep stirring it. And once it does thicken, you want to heat that over the heat for a good couple minutes and that's going to cook out all the starch. So we're not going to get a floury taste to our custard. Then you're going to chill that for a good few hours or like the jelly overnight. Now the final element to a trifle is the creams. This is just a really easy whipped cream. So I'm just placing some double cream into a bowl and I'm just going to use a whisk and whisk it up. It's as simple as that. If you want all the details of ingredients and quantities, they will be in the description box below. So once you've got sort of like floppy peaks, I'm going to add in just a couple teaspoons of uh, ice and sugar and also a splash of vanilla. Now this is totally optional. You can leave it plain if you want. That's how my parents like it. But me with my sweet tooth, I like to have a little bit of sugar and a little bit of vanilla. Then you want to keep whipping that until you get nice stiff peaks. You don't want them to be too stiff though, otherwise it'll turn into butter. Then I've got a nice piping bag with a nice large star tip and I'm just going to scoop all of that cream into a piping bag. So finally it's time to assemble the whole thing. So you might find the next day that your custard's a bit like thick and clumpy. So you might want to just loosen it with a bit of extra double cream. And then you're going to place that into a piping bag as well. No tip on the end of this one, because I'm just going to cut off the end of the tip. And I'm just going to pipe it roughly onto my jelly. So start in the middle and just sort of spiral out towards the edge. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just make sure when you get to the edge of the trifle and up against the glass, you make it quite neat. You don't want to smear it all over the place. Then for the cream, I'm just taking my piping bag and I'm starting at the edge. And I'm just going to pipe little shells from the outside just in a couple centimetres. And I'm going to do a ring of those and then another ring and just keep going into the centre of the trifle. Now you can do absolutely anything you want. You can do a similar sort of thing to we did with the custard. So just pipe like a swirl out towards the edge, add a few rosettes, you can pipe little blobs. Literally it's up to you. Everything looks brilliant. If you don't have a piping bag, you can even just dollop it and spread it out. For the individual trifles, I did like a rosette. So I started in the middle and just spiraled out towards the edge. 
Then to finish these off, to give them a bit of a Christmassy zing, I've got some little sprinkles. So I've got some like white balls, some silver balls, some stars, and a bit of glitter really makes these Christmassy. And I found the best way was to sort of uh, hold your paintbrush to the trifle and just blow onto the paintbrush. It's going to scatter that glitter all over the trifle and it's going to look amazing. And that's literally it. I hope you guys have a fantastic Christmas and if you do make this trifle at home, please let me know and tag me on my social medias. If you want to see more videos like this, you can subscribe. You can give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed. You can click here to see my last video and here to see a video randomly selected by YouTube for you.